Sorry, dude, but this new guy is gonna be another washed up pencil pusher. He's only concerned with following every rule in the patrol guide. Meet Morp Z. Robot captain engaged. Is that what you think? Hey! <laughs> new captain alert. Good solve, tie for you. Thanks. Now everyone be sure to put those on because it's impossible to solve crimes unless you're wearing a tie. Testament to what can be achieved when you dress appropriately. Let's pound it out. Here are two pictures. One is your locker, the other is a garbage dump in the Philippines. Can you tell which is which? That one's the dump. They're both your locker. God, I should have guessed that. He's good. Do you know where we keep the glitter? I just want to make sure this report for the captain is extra sparkly. What are you doing, Peralta? Look, if I have to do things his way, I'm going to do them my way. <laughs> OK, man. It was nice working with you. Crime techs aren't done yet, but I'm 100% sure it's Whitman. What evidence did you have when you arrested this guy? Some pretty ironclad stuff. Destin, it's been a while. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Well, well, well. If it isn't Joe Peralta, <laughs> that's it, you're under arrest. Case closed. What are you thinking, Boyle? For I'm guys. calling natural causes. We got heart medicine over here, home defibrillator, and a frequent customer gift basket from the cardiac wing of Brooklyn Methodist. This case is open and shut. Yep, that's exactly what I was going to say. It's, it's so weird. He's so good at knowing what I'm going to tell him to do. He just does it. I've been chasing this guy for three months. I've got him dead to rights. Fingerprints, witnesses, it's in the bag. So I'm just going to grab a healthy breakfast. Are those gummy bears wrapped in a fruit roll-up? Breakfast burrito, but yeah. I pity your dentist. Ah, joke's on you. I don't have a dentist. Oh, hey, Captain. Did you get my report on the Finley murder? Oh, uh, yeah, I looked it over. Nice work. Good. Thanks, Dad. Why is everyone staring at me? You just called Captain Holt Dad. You said, thanks, Dad. What? No, I didn't. I said, thanks, man. Do you see me as a father figure, Peralta? No. If anything, I see you as a bother figure, because you're always bothering me. Hey, show your father some respect. I didn't call him Dad. Sir? I need you to do something. And it's going to sound crazy, but it's important. And I need you to trust me. Detective Peralta will be going on an undercover assignment with the FBI. His cover story is that he was fired. Oh, my god. My heart just threw up. You will be missed. Thank you, Captain. Thank you for trusting me. I'm going to call Holt. You want to come? Yeah. Too bad. You're not invited. I'm in charge. Bye. <laughs> Look, I screwed up, and I think you should take over command of the precinct. Been waiting to hear you say that all day? I know. Five years instead of 20. Oh, that's tough. But fair. I can see why you have such intense daddy stuff with him. Oh, yeah, the guy without a daddy is the one with daddy issues. <laughs> Explain that logic. Here, Sarge. It's the rest of the money I owe you, 1,237 bucks. I thought you already drained your bank account. I sold my car. It's not a big deal. Oh my god, this is such a huge deal! <laughs> I can't untell your secret. The best I can do is make sure no one talks about it for the next four weeks and pay back your money. I'm sorry we doubted anybody was sabotaging you. No, I'm the one who should apologize. For some reason, I have trouble believing people actually have my back. I don't know why. Probably my dad abandoning me. Maybe something I should work out in therapy, but... Who has an hour to spare once every two weeks, right? <laughs> Our special today is coho salmon. Sounds on disgusting. Do you have chicken fingers? Impressed? Mm-hmm. And horrified by your eating habits. Well, if I'm so unhealthy, how come I never go to the bathroom? <laughs> I spent a decade looking for this monster, and you found him all on your own. Yeah, pretty easily, actually. Oh, I imagine that'll look pretty bad for you. Excuse me? The vulture is out. And I'm back. Uh, yeah. Glad you're back, Captain. We really missed you. How'd you get them to reinstate you? I didn't. I guess someone just had my back. Wait, you busted through a window for no reason? Basic police tactics, Sarge. Cover every exit. It was a sealed window on the fifth floor. You could have just gone in the door with Charles. Yeah, but then what would my catchphrase have been? Knock, knock, who's there, justice? Ooh, that's actually amazing. Charles, write that down. Already did. Sarge. What's the big deal? We stopped two kilos of heroin from hitting the streets. Who cares about one broken window? I do. I'm the one who has to spend all weekend doing paperwork because of your dumb stunt. But Terry loves paperwork? No, Jake. I do not. How? Are you freezing? Not at all. Mainly because my skin is on fire from all the poison ivy in this tree. <laughs> Why did you do that? Oh, let me guess. Dumb mistake. No dumb choice. I didn't want to sit around and wait for somebody to clean up my mess. Hmm. I guess I got through to you. Yeah. Also, 
After you fell asleep, Boyle really laid into me. It was brutal. I gotta say, Jake, this time, I think you're only 99% right. <sighs> Holy Moses, that is much too much money. Uh, well, you spent twice that for Mr. Met to come to your birthday party. Yeah, and it was worth it. Mr. Met used my bathroom. Number two, that's a memory I will cherish forever. Look, mattresses are expensive, but they're an investment. It's gonna be in your life for a long time. True, but it's also still just a mattress, you know? Well, to me, it sounds like you're saying I'm not worth it. Amy Santiago, I want to change mattresses for you. That's the best thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry I didn't do it sooner. I think I was just scared that you were going to realize you're way better than me. Like, you're Orangina and I'm Orange Soda. Are you kidding? You're Orangina? Ugh, don't say that. You ready? Hey, buddy. Happy birthday. Dad, what are you doing here? I wanted to surprise you. Yeah, well, I am surprised that you know it's my birthday. Actually, Jake, your father and I are uh, seeing each other again. Oh, wow, that's, that's so interesting. Why can't you just follow orders? Because I hate this stupid place and I've got to get out. I mean, this town's claim to fame is that its mayors keep dying and no one knows why. That's insane. You're selfish and you're putting my life at risk. So no, you're not getting those files back. I suggest you accept the reality of this situation and make the best of it. Snap out of it and get a job. Okay. Hey everyone, I just want to introduce you to our new assistant manager, Larry Sherbert. Son of a bitch. Larry? It stinks, you gotta watch him. It's really messing everything up. I mean, that came out wrong. I love that you have a son. It's not messing everything up. It's just messing up our ability to solve the case and have fun. Ah, you know what I mean. I'm a nice guy. I'm in the right. I'll just go myself. Bye, Nikolaj. Nikolaj. Yeah, whatever. I want to apologize. For what? Well, I kept talking about how I wanted everything to go back to normal, but if that actually happened, this little guy wouldn't be here. Or is he big? I don't know what size kids are supposed to be, or anything about kids, really. I think maybe that's part of the problem. He's gonna transfer out of the 99. That's what this is all about? You're still trying to undermine the man? What? No! The opposite, if anything. I want to see him succeed. I'm trying to overmine him. Oh, you know I hate it when you make up words, Peralta. Are you still mad at me for saying snack accident? Yes, very. Please. Then we figured out how to be good parents. TV and cake. TV and cake were my parents. <laughs> it's okay. You see, the food in prison was inedible. All I thought about day and night were the things I wished I was eating. And you, Amy. I thought about you a lot. Sex with you, just us doing sex with foreplay. Great save, babe. Thanks. I'm not ready to be back. You should suspend me. What? Look, when we arrested Richmond, and he said he didn't do it, I just, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I mean, what if he was telling the truth? What if he was innocent, and I was putting an innocent man in jail? It's just, feels a lot harder for me to put another human being in prison after experiencing it myself. It's really horrible. Look, I wanted to be back in the field because I wanted to be the old me, but the truth is I'm not the old me yet. Maybe I never will be. When you demanded to be put back in the field, I worried that you were being flippant about your time in prison. I thought you would be reckless, but I was wrong. Prison has made you more cautious. Yeah, but what if I'm too cautious now? I mean, I used to see everything as black and white, and now it's looking real gray to me. I wish every cop had a voice in their head asking, what if he's innocent? You see it as a weakness, but it means you're growing. It makes you a better detective. You're flustered, you have no GPS, so you just start driving. No! Philip. Next thing you know, you're in the Pine Barrens and it hits you, your uncle's cabin. He has a place there. You're the luckiest son of it a- It wasn't bitch. luck. Yes, it was. You got lucky at every turn. No, I knew exactly where I was driving. I left my phone in the office on purpose. I was in a surgical suite by design, and I didn't use some glass award that any idiot would clearly see was missing. I made a rod out of a special dental polymer, killed him with it, then melted it back down. It's already in a patient's mouth, son. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn! Did you know you had the wrong murder weapon? Oh, excellent question, sir. Yes. I spotted the missing dental award when I first took the case. I asked around weeks ago. Turns out a cleaning lady knocked it over and shattered it. Then why did you run in there like that? Because in talking to you, I realized what Philip's worst fear actually was, that we would think he was just some dummy that got lucky. Right. He had planned the perfect crime, and it killed him when you said he was sloppy and impulsive. He needed us to know how smart he was. Right. Like someone else I know. Yep. 
Jake, I know we have a ton of wedding stuff to do, but... No, no, no. You absolutely have to do this. He's your white whale. He's your Johnny Franzia. Who? My arch nemesis, Johnny Franzia. The guy who's been tormenting me with a deck of cards for years. Looks like deuces are wild, Peralta. Seriously, I feel like I talk about him constantly, but it doesn't matter. You definitely have to go. I'll handle the wedding stuff. Wait, have you never been to therapy? No, don't need it. Not even after the time your wife shot you? Nope. What about when you were held at gunpoint and had to write your own suicide note? Oh, that was crazy. I forgot about that. Or when you were falsely accused of bank robbery and went to prison? Was that a big deal? You joined a gang and tried math. I don't want to be anyone's bitch. Fine, you want something real? I tried therapy. It only made things worse. Uh-huh. Go on. Uh, when I was a kid, I was acting out at school, so they made me and my parents do family counseling. But instead of helping me with my problems, the stupid therapist just brought up all my parents' issues. And once it was all out in the open, they fought all the time and eventually got divorced and everything good in my life just went away. Interesting. So you actually blame yourself for your parents' divorce? No, I blame the therapy, which we only had to do because I, oh my God, I do blame myself. <sighs> Here come the waterworks. All I wanted was for you to be okay. I may never have the mantle, but it doesn't matter. I have you. Well, I'm very proud of you. And I also wish you had told me that before you went to the bathroom because I really roasted your mom back there. And another thing, you should appreciate Amy more because she's amazing. And another thing, when you come to visit us, you don't have to bring your own coffee. Our coffee is fine. And another thing, I know enough Spanish to understand what idiota means. And another thing, when you say I have an interesting nose, I know you mean big. I got lost in it. When I was a rookie at the 6-4, my captain was my first mentor. He helped me get on the detective track and he gave me all the best cases. But when I finally made detective, he took me to dinner and tried to kiss me. He said that he felt like he deserved something in return for my career. I just ran out of the restaurant, back to the office, and I put in my transfer for the 99. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. I never told anyone because I felt like maybe I didn't actually deserve my promotion. And I worried that I wouldn't get any more promotions if I spoke up, so. God. Every time I think I understand how bad it is, it's just way worse than I imagined. But there's nothing to congratulate me about. Amy's just upset because the historically entrenched patriarchy has created a culture of victim shaming that suppresses any power shift in our masculine phallic system. Huh? I couldn't sleep last night, so I watched a documentary on Netflix about feminism. I love you. We both work way too much. Why bother having kids if you never get to spend time with them? I mean, I love my job and I know you love yours and I don't think it's fair for either of us to have to sacrifice that. I do want to have kids with you. You're not scared anymore? Oh no, I am so scared. Maybe even more so than before, but I was scared in there with Pam too, and you know, I didn't panic or mess anything up there. If anything, I was sharper, and I was a friggin' debate genius. Debate genius? Oh, that's very hot. Oh, that's an added bonus. Okay, keep that energy up, but the point that I was actually trying to make is, maybe it's a good thing that I'm scared of fatherhood. You know, maybe it'll turn me into a Friggin' dad genius. Hey, what's Holt's expression right now? Would you describe it as proud daddy? It's hard to tell. He's still piecing it together. This could take a while. Why didn't you just tell me what was actually happening? I wanted to, sir, but it involved trusting Madeline Wunsch, and I just didn't think you could handle it. But I'm sorry that I lied to you. Sir? Sir? Oh, no, is he mad? I can't see anything. Did he storm out? No, I stormed in to tell you it was a great play and nice work, Peralta. And there it is, the proud daddy. I want your partner off the case. What's his name? It's Raymond Holt. Oh, it's dad. I mean, Captain Holt. I mean, Captain Dad. I mean, Officer Holt. I mean, Officer Dad. Yep, that was it. Officer Dad, I found it. If anything, she's a Trevor. That's the guy my mom dated after she divorced my dad. This is all about your daddy issues? Stepdaddy issues, this is a new thing. I'm complicated. You're in charge for the day. Oh boy, here comes the lecture. Be responsible, Jake. Don't do anything crazy or fun. There's no lecture. I trust you. Oh, but there always used to be a lecture. Yeah, well, you're not the same immature, rebellious kid you used to be. Didn't you and Amy just buy a family-friendly mid-sized sedan? In a rebellious color, champagne, which is an alcohol, and let's not forget, I wanted to have sex in your office just now. Yeah, to have a baby and become a father. Yeah, he turned it around on me. Terry kept saying all that stuff about how I matured, and I got worried I was becoming a boring adult. You are not a boring adult. No, I am. You want to know why I really wanted that year of no paperwork? So if we did get pregnant, I would have more time to help with the baby. 
Oh. Oh, save your awe. I don't deserve it. I'm just some boring, responsible guy that's about to lose our car. You're still pretty irresponsible. You're just saying that because you're my wife. This could increase our chances of getting pregnant by 19%. Yeah, of course, absolutely. So how do we get it started? Dim the lights, put on some music. Swallow 35 vitamins each. Oh, cheers. Oh. Let's make a baby. I probably should have had some water ready. You don't have to talk about it. I was offering him the task force position. Boyle is my choice. Boyle? From work? <laughs> oh, how great for him. I still don't get why Holt chose me over you. Are you kidding? I mean, just look at today. Instead of fighting for attention, you did the work and methodically built your case. You noticed things that a room full of seasoned cops all missed. You're a great detective, Charles. Wow. All the other Peralta dads, we probably just learned it from each other. Or it's just in our genes. No, you prove that wrong. You care and you do the work. You're reading parenting books before your kid is even born. You try to get me and dad back together. Hell, you even fished my thumb out of the cake. Yeah, that was gross. You're so excited about having a kid, you're having a sex reveal party. I never did anything like that, except that one time in Amsterdam. I really wish you'd stop bringing that up. Jake, you can be a great dad. And your son's gonna love you. Crazy to think in just 17 short years, he's gonna be six foot seven and the number one draft pick for the Knicks. Mm. And then he's gonna pass up that opportunity to pursue his true passion, library sciences. Well, the important thing is we'll support him no matter what, mm. even if he's a huge, huge nerd. Oh, especially then. Are we gonna be okay at this? I mean, this entire day felt like a warning from the universe. I almost missed the birth. We had our baby at the precinct. A firefighter touched our child. We washed him off. Yeah, but I'll always know. Babe, we talked about this. Everyone balances work and kids. Yeah, but everyone's not a cop. You guys probably don't know this, but my parents got divorced when I was a kid and it really messed me up. Oh yeah, my God. No. What, do I talk about it a lot? It doesn't matter. The point is, we can't let that happen to Daddy Holt and Daddy Kevin. So we're just dispensing with subtext now? Yes, this workplace is my family. Was that not clear? Holt is my dad, you're my mean older sister, Amy's my mom. What? What? It's really Franz, yeah. Don't ask how I know, because it has nothing to do with lamps. Jake, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? You're, you're supposed, supposed to be getting, getting back from daycare! What you're doing is super important. I'll just scale back and let Charles run point on the Franzia case. No, none of us are scaling back. We can be good parents without sacrificing our careers. SWAT is on their way. We have to go to Franzia's now. This is our best chance at police reform. Franzia, Lieutenant Franzia? Reform, Boyle, reform. Okay, enough. Charles is right. Jake has waited years for this. No, he can make the arrest without me. Without you, there is no presentation. I'll take Mac. Franzia disappears into these crazy underground tunnels. So we have to switch over to night vision. And Charles, it's all so awesome, but I actually have to stop you because I gotta go. I have to feed this baby some mushed up avocado. Oh my God. What happened? Is Mac okay? <laughs> he just pulled himself up. What if I admit I made an error and apologize? He is speaking hypothetically. You'll notice he never used the S word and he never used the M word. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Holy That was amazing, we beat him. I can't believe it actually worked out okay. You're suspended for five months. Right, I know. But I deserve it and I learned a valuable lesson from all this, so I'm counting it as a win. I get that, Peralta, but things will be a lot better when a man doesn't have to lose his job for you to learn a lesson. And everyone's going to be so shocked when they find out the big surprise that I'm leaving the 9-9. I don't understand. Well, for weeks we've been trying to figure out how you can do your new job and still have us be there for Mac as much as we want, and I really think this is it. Yeah, but we have other options. Yeah, but I think this is the best one. Look, you know I was scared about having kids because I didn't want to be like my dad. But if I do this, I have a chance to be the exact opposite. And I don't want Mac to ever feel the way I felt growing up. And I get that. I really do. But you love being a detective. I know. It's all I ever wanted to be. Until now. Now, all I care about is what's best for our family. And Ames, this is it. I mean, you've earned this incredible opportunity. You can't do it halfway. It's too important. And Mac's my little buddy. I want to be at home with him. It must have been a hard decision. Honestly, it wasn't. It's funny. 
On my first day here, I asked Jeffers to tell me about everyone. Told me you were a great detective, but the one thing you couldn't figure out was how to grow up. Well, I think you finally figured it out. Well, thank you, sir. I couldn't have done it without you. Over the years, you've sometimes referred to me as uh, something of a father figure. Did I? I didn't realize that. But I want you to know, if I had had a son, and uh, he had turned out like you, I would be very proud of him. <laughs>